My last tutorial was an introduction to Node. This tutorial will also be on Node. I don't plan to do a Node tutorial every week, but I wanted to get some of the beginner Node tutorials out of the way. In this tutorial, we will look at entering your first JavaScript code in Node. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript where we help bridge the gap between novice and expert. I mentioned in the last tutorial that Node.js is simply an application written in C++ that makes use of the V8 JavaScript engine. So since it is an application, you need to install it in order to use it. So let's take a look at that first. Now, in order to install Node, all you need to do is go to nodejs.org. That's the website shown here. And based upon what system you access this from, it will provide the correct download that you need to use to install Node. In this case, I'm on a Mac, and so it's providing me with the latest version for Mac. Now, if you install Node using this method, this is also how you can update it. And it's something you probably want to check frequently because Node does change frequently. Now, really quick, the difference between the LTS version and the current version. Basically, LTS is a scheduled release. So people that work in an enterprise situation where they need to know when new releases are coming out and they don't want to install every little release, this is the version for them. The latest version is the one on the right. So you download that, you install it like you would any other program on your computer, and then you need to make sure that it's installed. So here on my Mac, I'm going to open up my terminal window. Now, if you had installed on Windows, you could simply access the Node.js command prompt. It provides a command prompt for you on Windows. Now, first thing I want to do to make sure that I have the latest version installed or that Node is installed and is working is I enter Node minus V. This gives me a version number and I can see that version 11.6 is what is showing up there. Now, if you have issues with installation, there are a lot of resources on the internet for resolving those, so I encourage you to look at those. But do make sure that Node is installed and that you're able to see the version before you begin to enter JavaScript code for Node. Now, something else that is installed at the same time is NPM. And so I'm going to get the version of that as well. Now, NPM stands for node package manager and it's something that gets used as a part of node so it's a good idea to check that as well now it is installed you can begin to use it so let's look at how we can enter some very basic javascript so first thing i want to do is i'm going to enter node i'm going to access that application you can see that my cursor changes now I'm inside of the Node console, and just like you do within the browser console, I can begin to enter JavaScript. So let me just uh, create a variable here, set it equal to 10, create another variable, set it equal to 20, and then console.log i plus j. So there is some basic JavaScript. And this was done inside of Node. And you can see that the results are displayed. And you can use console.log inside of Node just like you can inside a browser. Node makes this same command usable. And so it will display the results in the Node console. Now, that's, that's all good and whatnot. But really what we want to do is use Node in a more productive way. And a common way to interact with Node is by giving Node a single JavaScript file as an access point. So you create your code in a JavaScript file and that's what you give to Node when you want to run it. Now it may access other JavaScript files but there is usually one access point that you want to make available. 
So let's take a look at that. Now, before we do that, I'm going to exit out of Node. I'm going to press Control C once and then press Control C again. And now I'm back to my Unix prompt. Now, really quick, I'm going to do PWD just to find out where I'm at on my computer. And so I have my path here. The reason I wanted to find out is because I have a JavaScript file in this folder. Let's take a look at that really quick. Here's a JavaScript file. This is basically some code that was used in a tutorial I did uh, several weeks back. Basically what it does is it a little tip to move the first name and last name, move the position, just exchange them in this array of names. And it does it with regular expression. So that's what's going on in this little bit of code. And notice that it's named app.js. Now, if I wanted to, to if I wanted to use this inside a node, how would I go about doing that? Well, let me go back to the prompt. And the first thing you enter is node, and then you enter the file you want to run in node. Now, since I'm already in the directory that contains app.js, I can simply enter app.js. And let's see what happens. And there we get the console log statement with the names, first name, last name. So they're in the correct order, just like the code was supposed to do. So here's where I logged out those new names right here. This is where I reversed the order of those using a regular expression and mapping over that. And then we were able to run that from the console and we were able to get the results. So that is the basics of how you run JavaScript inside of Node. So now we've described what Node is. We've looked at how to run JavaScript inside of Node. Now in later tutorials, we can begin to build on those things. Now before we're done here, please hit the like button. It can help others on YouTube find the tutorial. If you want to dive deeply into JavaScript, I've provided discount links to all my courses in the description section. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you can hit that button or click the circle link on the left, the one with my face. I release a new tutorial each week. You can also click the video link in the center to access another tutorial right away or click the link on the right to visit my website, allthingsjavascript.com, for a complete list of tutorials and other resources. Thanks for watching.